Oh my gosh, guys. What kind of magic have I made here? Woo! What's up, gurus? We're finally getting this tank started. Um, I can't decide what to name it, so go ahead and go down in the comments and sh tell me what you think we should name this this aquascape here. So, this is going to be my first true, like, uh, I guess, time-consuming aquascape, so it's going to take a little bit. Um, we are gonna today. We're gonna do hardscape substrate. Get the filtration going. We got the light on here. The list of plants you're just gonna have to wait for. That's gonna be a surprise. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think we should name this aquascape. We're gonna be using elephant skin stone, ADA Amazonia two, some lava rock, along with uh, UNS Delta sixty canister. This is a UNS sixty S. Um, it is a shallow tank, and then we have the current USA Serene kit also on this thing so anyways what we're going to do today we're going to start with getting the aquascaping set up uh the hardscapes and the substrate so let's check this thing out and watch it grow first tip i'm going to tell you guys is some egg crate the reason i'm doing this is these elephant skin stones are pretty heavy um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this in the bottom of the tank and what that's going to do is that's going to distribute the weight of the stone a little bit more just to make it a little bit easier on us and stuff like that. But anyways, let's get started in the fun part, the hardscape. First things first, we gotta do a support stone and here's gonna be our focal point stone. This one's gonna be the one that's gonna pop out of the tank and stand out above all the other stones. It's sort of like an Iwagumi, but the way I do this, it ends up more like a Brazilian or something like that. But you'll see where we're going with this. That's going to be another stone there for enhancing the size of the back one there. Here you see we're putting lava rock underneath there. That's just to add height to the substrate to make it look like a hill back there essentially. As you can see, this is a time-consuming process. You end up moving things a lot to kind of get it going, hence why I sped it up for you guys. rock to kind of add some angle to that stone now over here on the left side we're going to make more of a hill uh, just because they're smaller rocks that i'm using on this side i do want them to still stand up high uh, just not you know all the way to the top of the water so we're going to raise that side up like a hill and you'll see what i'm doing here as soon as i add the aqua soil Amazonia 2. Here's the uh, the little additive pellet. There you go. We're just going to kind of sprinkle these all over the tank, mainly in places where there's going to be more plants. So not so much under the rocks, but around them for sure. Here you can see us starting to add the aqua soil around the hill area, around the larger focal point stone and stuff like that. And now we're gonna add over to the left side and kind of start creating our hills on the sides of the tank. Kind of want it to be like a valley in the middle.
now we're going to start adding our rocks to the left side now that we got our hill based we are going to be adding more aqua soil around these so don't mind the lava rocks they're going to get covered up this is just to establish our hardscape itself Now we're going to start adding our accent stones to get everything kind of squared up here, you know, to give it some more depth and stuff like that, make the larger rocks much look much larger. Now we're going to start adding some aqua soil into the gaps to make it look even more like a hill than it already does. This is a little tip to, uh, you know, really get that depth to it, you know, kind of mix in, you know, add some substrate in between adding rocks and stuff like that. Raise them up if you need to, you know, if you feel like they need to be higher or lower or whatever. This is your chance to do all of that and kind of, you know, take your time with this. Definitely step back, take a look at the tank. And kind of decide if that's exactly what you want to do or you know feel free to always change up your aquascape it's not a bad thing to change up your art that's what we call it around here art take your time make it look the way you want it to look and then enjoy it afterwards Now we're gonna add some detail stone to this. This is the, the little stones you'll see in many, many aquascapes, just to kind of give it that more realistic feel. Obviously just having rocks laying around doesn't necessarily give it a realistic feel. Of course, when you add plants and they fill in those gaps as well, that changes everything too. Now, keep in mind, a lot of plants are gonna end up covering a lot of this stuff. You won't really see it in the future, but at the beginning of the aquascape, this is kind of where I'm going with this. So I like them to look like they took me forever to make because they do <laughs> so now when you're throwing in the detail stone too just kind of chuck it in there you know there's no really rhyme or reason as to how they go in there same thing in the wild the wild doesn't you know specifically place things normally it just throws it around so just kind of throw it around make it fit wherever you think looks good and it will look good by the time you're done which you'll see shortly here All right, guys, so there it is, the hardscape with the substrate. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I am absolutely in love with this thing, especially with that red background. But anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this filled up with water before we close out this video. I really want you guys to get a nice close-up view of all this stuff going on in here. 
Let's fill it up with water. Just a quick tip for you too, when you're filling it up, use a plastic bag like this holiday bag. I'm not gonna film me filling it. It does take a little bit. I gotta do it one little gallon at a time uh, for now. So I'm just gonna get this filled up, but I'll show you when I'm done how I didn't really alter the scape by using a plastic bag to kind of do this. So anyways, I'm gonna get this thing filled up and I'll be right back with you to check this thing out for myself. Don't forget, Put down in the comments what you think we should name this aquascape. It is full of water. We got our filtration running as you could tell. We're gonna let this thing run for like two weeks or so, give or take. I'm gonna go down to the woods, grab some moss for this top of this rock right here. And then we got some plants coming for the rest of it. So I love that backdrop of the red. Just wait till this thing clears up. This is gonna be so, so epic, I think anyway. Let me know what you think of the scape. And let me know down in the comments what you think we should name it. Other than that, that's the end of this week's video. We'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Actually, you know what? I'll come back next week and do something, some, some sort of video for you guys. But we'll see what that ends up being. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys learn how to aquascape something and try it for yourself. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.